And he's able to get that first step. That explosive first step allowed him to have a little bit of room on Hayes. It gave him great position under the basket. With the left hand, nifty Braden Sparks. Cameron Walker spinning, and another block shot by Taj Manning, his third. Outside three, got it from the wing. Simeon Cottle is hot. I'll tell you what, Simeon Cottle is certainly taking advantage of the block shots. Mitchell with 14 points. How about that reverse? Say hello to Braden Sparks. That goes back to his poise, his patience, the methodical nature that he was pushing the ball and did an excellent job of understanding clock and score. I mean, he is crafty. He's got some handles. Realize he had two defenders right above the rim, goes underneath. And they're still getting on the floor. They're still getting after it. Oh. No lack of intensity. Bad pass there, but a great recovery. Hit with a block, but then look who's there, Mark Mitchell. Mark Mitchell has his fingerprints all over this game in Braden Sparks and how he's aspiring to play. 7-2 run for Southeast, final seconds of the third. Corner pocket three, got it. Big one from Jordan Brown. A little momentum for the boys from Kansas as we head to the fourth. Great pass, excellent feed from Jackson. Manning with a bucket. Manning cuts so well off the basketball, and that's what you look for in players don't just know how to move with the ball, but without the ball in their hands. Cooper Jackson nifty to the rim. But just when you think Central is getting ready to extend this thing, they get rain back in. And then Mark Mitchell goes to the basket. Well, you see what happens when the floor is so spread and you allow him to operate in the middle of it. For the Southeast team, so his game is done. With 23 to go, and Grady Dick leaked out open and laid it up and in. 67-58, and Central on the verge of dominating pool play and pool A and finishing 3-0.